Yo, what's up guys? Today we are on the hunt for a girlfriend or multiple ones. We are being very professional. I actually have this video release form that girls must sign to be in the video. But if you read the fine print, it's really not fine print, it's right there. If they sign this, they are legally agreeing to be my girlfriend for the next eight hours. Let's see how many girls will sign this and see if I can get some girlfriends. Basically, yeah, just kind of formality. You gotta sign can a release like, form. No. We're professionals, so we do like release forms and stuff, so. You gotta do like a quick release form. We're professional. We're professional now. It's just saying like we can use it for the video and stuff. Yep. I think I'm okay with it. Don't sign it, don't sign it. Uh-uh. You can put your name. Uh-uh. I put yours oh. too. It wouldn't be good to, to sign this and also have a boyfriend, you know what I mean? Why not? What's the date today? Boom. All right, thank you, Sarah. Perfect, thank you. Awesome. Perfect. Wonderful, thank okay. you. <laughs> what are you signing? You guys aren't even reading it. I don't know. That's so bad. Your mom's a lawyer. Yes. <laughs> Go over it for the next eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be the only person all night that actually uh, read it. I do like younger men. Oh. Oh. Wow. So you do want to be the girlfriend for the next eight hours? <laughs> See. I'm going back to my hotel. So. Are these are these your boyfriends? Oh. Absolutely not. That's good. They're, they're like my brothers. Oh, I see. Brother zone. And Do you have a boyfriend? No. You sure about that? Mm -hmm. So are you single? I am single. Are you? I am. What makes like a good boyfriend? What do you think about boyfriends? Like what makes them good? Someone who is reliable, who mm. makes me laugh. I like a beer belly. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have one of those. Uh, yeah, that ain't it. I love people who appreciate me and I can appreciate them. Be you, be original. Dad bod is it. Uh, good communicator. Not make you go to the damn strip club. See, if I was your boyfriend, right, I would just have you be the stripper at home. See, that's what I'm saying. Hello. He would probably have to be almost as good as my husband going down on me. I, I've worked a lot on that because when you have kind of like a small member, you have to make up for it in other areas. Yep. So, yeah, your husband knows about that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no. I, loyalty. Mmm, loyalty. But you can't find that really anywhere. So if the guy has like many, many girlfriends, that's not good? Are you kidding? Is it bad if they have a lot of girlfriends at once? That's yes. like the biggest. What do you mean? So is it good when a guy is like quiet and awkward or would you rather them be like super extroverted and talkative? Uh, if they're not talking, like it's really hard to keep the conversation going. So I'd rather them be like really talkative. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. After guys actually get the confidence to approach girls and actually talk to them, their number one fear is actually running out of things to say. That's why I developed an exclusive technique called Indra's Mindset, never been taught before, that allows you to make connections between any idea or object and allows you to continue the conversation and have endless material. If you want to see Indra's Mindset, the full video, Check out this cool clip, and if you like it, watch the whole video. Memorizing heaps of conversational material is only going to push your problem and fear a little further down the road. Maybe you don't run out of things to say for the first 10 minutes, but you do in 30 minutes or an hour's time. So the point is that using canned material and memorizing conversational topics is a short-term and limited strategy. The important point is for you to recognize how interconnected everything is. So if you really pay attention, you can develop this skill of seeing connections in everything that you look at. And this is the hack that you can exploit to never run out of things to say. Does style matter for a guy? Style absolutely it matters. Matter. It does matter. What do you think about my style? No, it's important. Um, yeah. Do you mind me some more? Yeah, I think more the have to the tad bigger. If you're wearing just gym shorts and just like a tank top. I knew that was coming. What do you think about this outfit? It's okay. This is like a um, fuckboy tank. Five out of ten. Not bad. You kind of look hot. Oh, thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. This is really hot. Thank you. This is actually like a special shirt. Well, there's actually a reason why I'm wearing this shirt. Okay. This is a special shirt, though. Why is it special? Well, do you know what it's made of? What is it made of? Boyfriend material. Uh, that was a good one. Was good. Boyfriend material. <laughs> Boyfriend material? Boyfriend material? No, polyester, yeah. I don't know. I was thinking of a polyester joke. Um, 
It was good material too, but I forgot the joke. You want to feel it? Like, oh, let me just yeah, watch. It. And it, watch if you pull it, you can feel the boyfriend material. If you pull on it, you'll be able to feel the material. It's actually boyfriend, oh ma boyfriend material. Can I even napkin? Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can feel. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need a nap, bud. Well, <laughs> you gotta do it. I mean, I wanna look at that. This is embarrassing. For you. For you? You're the one who just ripped your shirt off. See, I don't get embarrassed. I am free from social anxiety, so I don't feel cringe, but. I feel cringe. Well, I mean, you are my girlfriend now, so this is oh. kind of like a normal thing to do. Right. Do you have a boyfriend? I do not. Well, I don't know about that. You are my girlfriend now, right? Mm. So what should we do now that we're boyfriend and girlfriend? We're not boyfriend and girlfriend. You sure about that? I promise you that. You're actually officially legally my girlfriend now. Oh! No way! I'm assuming that you read this, but this, I didn't. Well, that, this does legally make you my girlfriend for the next eight hours. Okay, that's all. I don't know if you read this. It says right here that you agree to become the interviewer's girlfriend for the next eight hours. I agree to become the interviewer's girlfriend. Oh, whoa! Hey, yo, I'm out. If you read the fine print, I agreed to become the interviewer's girlfriend for the next eight hours. This is okay. the next eight hours! I agreed to become the interviewer's girlfriend for eight hours. I acknowledge that I've completely read and fully understand the above release and agree to be bound there by, I thereby release any and all claims, oh, blah, 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 blah. You signed that you agree to become the interviewer's girlfriend. So you're actually. Right, so where officially... are we going for the next eight hours? Yeah, I don't know. Where should we go? You want to go to Willie's? Yeah, let's go. All right, I suppose we should go. All of a Hopefully. Sudden, the thing's gone. <laughs> I agreed to become the interviewer's girlfriend for the next eight hours. Hell yeah! Boy yeah! I'm the only one? Uh, well, I wouldn't say you're the only one. I'm the cuter one, though. That's definitely true. You guys are now girlfriends-in-law, so... This is awkward. But now that we're boyfriend and girlfriend, what, what should we do? Uh, I mean, like, maybe go out for coffee or something? It's kind of late for that. I think that might keep me up all night. Oh, maybe that would be good. Maybe that would be good. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. So what, what do you think we should do? We are boyfriend and girlfriend now. So that's interesting. I don't know. What should we do? Oh, should we kiss? No, oh, okay. You're my girlfriend. We need to a hug. You know what I mean? Wow, awesome. It was nice. You're built. Good for you. Thank you. Let's go get some coffee for and so we can party all night. Exactly. Dope. All right, let's go. Well, guys, tonight might be a crazy night because we officially have 13 girls that are legally my girlfriend. So, Dan Bilzerian, Andrew Tate, you got nothing on me. 13 legal girlfriends. I don't know if that's ever been done before. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I have some girlfriends to attend to, so I'll see you next time. Peace.